Prince George's County State Attorney is ramping up the pressure for reform within Maryland's Department of Juvenile Services in the wake of a crash that killed four teens Friday night. The kids were riding in a stolen Kia that was taken in a carjacking earlier in that day in earlier that day, excuse me, in Greenbelt. According to a source with knowledge of the case, at least one of the victims had been released by juvenile authorities previously. Well, Scott Broom is live in Upper Marlboro, where he just spoke with the state's attorney, Aisha Braveboy. Yeah, again, State's Attorney Aisha Brave Boy this afternoon confronting yet another tragedy involving teens apparently mixed up with the juvenile justice system and saying just a few moments ago that the juvenile justice system here in Maryland is falling short. We need to put, place more resources into DJS. I also believe that DJS should never release a child uh, who's been charged with a felony prior to any uh, court or judge hearing or evaluating whether or not the individual uh, should be released when a, at the time of an arrest. Brave Boy speaking in general about the juvenile justice system in the wake of this terrible tragedy Friday night. Four kids died in a fiery crash when a stolen Kia they were riding it hit a tree in Mitchellville. At least one of those teens had been handled by juvenile authorities previously and been released according to a source of knowledge of the case. At least two other teens in the car were likely not involved with the carjacking according to the state's attorney. The godmother of 15-year-old Serenity Selman and her cousin, 17-year-old Dartrell Breyer, said she does not believe those teens knew they were getting into a stolen car that evening. Greenbelt police told me today that the car had been taken from an apartment complex uh, parking lot before dawn on Friday by a group of masked teens who pointed either a shotgun or a rifle at the victim who threw the car keys on the ground and ran for his life. The crash happened Friday night after Prince George's County Police attempted to pull the stolen Kia over and then broke off from following it, according to police. The speeding car attempted to pass another vehicle on the shoulder of Woodmore Road, lost control, hit a tree and caught on fire, according to police. The teens were all burned. Relatives said that three of these teens were students at Charles Flowers High School. Students and parents at the school this afternoon told us here at WUSA 9 that an announcement about these deaths was made at school this morning, but Prince George's County School Authorities uh, have not provided additional details in the wake of all of that. Again, this afternoon, Prince George's County State's Attorney Aisha Braveboy making another appeal to parents to track the whereabouts of their kids at all times during this crisis in juvenile crime that this county and a lot of the rest of the region is going through. Reporting live at the Prince George's County Courthouse, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Well, the photos of that accident are absolutely gut-wrenching. Scott, appreciate your reporting tonight. Thank you.